my impression so far with these musicians is just wonderful. Fantastic musicians, technical on a high level, very virtuous. They are open for ideas. Here, it's an open book and we can write from the beginning to the end something new. I enjoy a lot making music with them. What kind of advice could I give to younger musicians? I think give the time that you need to grow. Learn from your mistakes. Don't just study music and notes. Go out and enjoy nature and get inspired by the things of life. The musical world is changing, definitely. One important aspect in our musical world right now is the globalization. Everything is connected. There were schools, Berliner Philharmonica, School of Vienna, and these schools slowly become a little bit more unisex. And that's another aspect which is dangerous. I think in nowadays in the school it's very important that we study the home country musical style. We go out, but we don't forget where we come from. Musicality. We are born with it. Some are very empathic to feel immediately what might be in that moment the message of the composer. But it's not only emotion. This is the beauty as being a musician. We just have the heart, but we need also the mind. And to balance these both things is also part of musicality. The artwork that is a composition is always incomplete. It's not as in another art where you have a painting and it is already there. No, the music has to be played. Is it just enough to play correctly? No, it's not. What are these black dots on the white paper? It's just a little information. With our knowledge, we have to retranslate this information into energy and transmit it to the audience. Without culture, we are just robots. As human beings, what makes us higher as just a machine working is the reflection about ourselves. And art is a tool for reflection. Why do we play it today again and again? These masterpieces, because they have messages inside itself that are universal. In every time that we are living in, you can find these connections. We need to translate it again. That's our duty as musicians to give it back to the people. I believe really strongly that music can change the people to a better being. What is clear is that in the moment when we sit together with other people making music, for instance, someone else is playing and I'm listening. Then I take the melody and I'm playing and the colleague is listening. So there's a giving and taking. And this psychology translated into the world, I think it's clear that music connects people and is something good for society. to fight very strongly to find balance. Still in the conducting world we have a dominating male unbalance. There is a movement since some years where women conductors are growing and that's wonderful to see. What we have to be careful is that we cannot just give the position to someone just because of the balancing aspect. The important thing is quality. I come from a very big, quite international family and one thing that my parents gave us is the criteria to, to be open to other people, to other worlds. There is not just one th truth, there are many truths to give a chance to other people to come, to enter and then to do the things together I think is more interesting and better for the future than just to stick to ourselves. Mm -hmm.